The French Bulldog is one of the world's most popular small dog breeds. Stick around to find out what it took at the beginnings of this little breed and what they faced to get here today. Welcome back to the Femrear French Bulldog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FemreaCanineLeaders.com. And this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you need to know about the incredible French Bulldog and then how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect French Bulldog companions. So if you love the little Frenchie as much as we do here at Fenrir, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you'll never miss a future French Bulldog video. So then, let's dive into today's video to learn about the origins and fascinating history of the incredible little French Bulldog. Now, in the 1800s in England, the French Bulldog first started on the path to becoming the breed it is today. But the story begins with a more gruesome beginning. The sport of bull baiting was seeing a downfall and many of the breeds and subbreeds of bulldogs used for this sport were in crisis. Some legislation was starting to make the rounds through Parliament and it was beginning to seem like the sport would be completely abolished. Fanciers of the Bulldog had to get creative to really save the Bulldog classification if they were to be outlawed. Now, while some went on to participate in dogfighting rings and were inevitably outcrossed with terrier breeds for the pit bull type breeds we see today, others were starting to be repurposed with the intent to turn them into companion animals. One particular recreation of the breed that surfaced in the early 1800s was a miniature Bulldog. Popular among the lace makers of Nottingham, so famous that one of these mini bulldogs became the lace makers' official mascot. But as the industry revolution in England started to gain traction, the lace makers had begun to feel somewhat uncomfortable and like their trade was being threatened. So they packed up and relocated to France, where they continued their art of lace making. Now, the miniature bulldog became incredibly popular in the French countryside. Over decades, other small breeds were mixed with the breeding population, which led to the creation of a more reminiscent dog of the French bulldog we know and love today. These little dogs eventually then made their way to Paris, and here they boomed in popularity. Now, by the close of the 19th century, the French Bulldog had made its way outside of France. It rose in popularity in both the United States and Europe, though the breed was not as welcome in the UK since the Bulldog was a national symbol and many Englishmen were off-put that their old French rivals had manipulated it into what it is now. Sorry to very quickly interrupt the video guys, I just wanted to let you know if you haven't done it already, over on our website FenrirK9Leaders.com we have a completely free quiz that I designed myself for you to be able to take. It asks you a few questions based on some of the things that I think are really important for what guard dog breed will be perfect for you. So you go through that quiz, you answer the questions honestly and then at the end it will give you what I think the perfect guard dog breed for you is. And again, it's completely free, just trying to help you guys out as much as we can so again there'll be a link down to it in the description box below if you haven't done it already go even if you're not necessarily interested in getting a guard dog breed anytime soon i know a lot of people have found it really fun just to see what kind of breed i would recommend for you so get stuck in go and have a look but without further ado we'll get back to the video you were just watching now, an interesting fact is that originally two different types of ears were accepted in the French Bulldog. The erect, bat-like ears that we know of the breed today, and a rose ear, which is similar to the ears of an English Bulldog. In the late 1800s, Americans who came to France fell in love with the little breed and preferred the erect ear. In contrast, the French and English preferred the rose-type ears. This led to something of a dispute. When Americans took their dogs to the Westminster show ring, the English judges would only select the rose-eared dogs, not the Americans preferred a rectear type. The Americans were infuriated and this led to the formation of the first Frenchy breed club, the French Bulldog Club of America. The club was the first to draft up the standard for the breed and within it they excluded the rose ear type and only allowed those with the erect ears. Now, when the Americans then returned to the Westminster show in 1898, they were again enraged to find the class for both the rose ear and bat ear types for the Frenches. This led to all American participants pulling their dogs from the show and the American judges also refusing to participate. Now, upon returning home to the States and the show and the club arranged their own show, the first winner of this bat eared only event was a brindle Frenchie by the name of Dimboula. 
Now, the French Bulldog was an immensely popular breed. However, the breed did start to decline a bit before World War I. Some assume it was due to the rise of the popularity of the Boston Terrier, and also because the French Bulldog had significant problems trying to whelp puppies naturally, and C-section performed by a vet were still very far off. The breed took another massive hit after World War II and during the time of the Great Depression. And by 1940, only about 100 individuals of the breed were present in all of the United States. Now, a few passionate breeders in the United States and Europe managed to keep the breed from going extinct altogether. But the breed did not make a comeback until around the 1980s when the French Bulldog Club of America turned their small shows into significant events. The breed had made a massive comeback since then, and as of 2020, the French Bulldog holds the spot of the fourth most popular breed in all of the US. So that wraps up our very quick and fascinating overview of the glorious French Bulldog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, and don't forget, if you're new here, subscribe and turn on the notification bells. We've got two new French Bulldog-specific videos, just like this one, coming to this channel every single week. So I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir French Bulldog Show.